Hello YouTube, this is the Rural Rancher here, and today I'm going to be doing a review and um, modification to these O'Reilly's tow mirrors. I don't remember the actual name of these tow mirrors. I will um, write the name down in the description and get a, get a link to them. But got the long story short, I got these O'Reilly's because I didn't like my factory mirrors, and I couldn't find any tow mirrors online that were made for this truck. So I went to O'Reilly's, got these. And um, I really like them. Um, there's two different models. These are the anti-vibrate ones. Because um, I have had problems with clip-on tow mirrors in the past where they vibrate like crazy and make you kind of car sick when, if you just look at them. So definitely worth the, I believe it was like a $3 difference just for the anti-vibrate. So definitely worth that. Um, overall, the construction is really nice. I'm su honestly surprised with the quality of them for how for their price point and compared to others on the market um they use a different system that i've seen others use um they got these little plastic tabs that whenever you put pressure on with these ratchets it presses sorry about the light but there's little tabs that kind of hook on the mirror and the tighter you get the more it pulls on it so it's like a ratchet strip in that mirror and it works really good these things are not going anywhere as you can see I just fold my mirror with them so I'm definitely really satisfied with their um, the method of securing them but what I've been doing working on um, for making these a little bit more permanent is I removed the straps as you can see there's no straps like on that one Let's see but and I got some little screws to put in where the um where the ratchets were so as you can see that's all you can see with the regular mirror i'll try to zoom in just about that you can go out a little bit wider like that as you can see but when it comes to towing it you can't see much which and i have the topper on the back which makes it even worse because your rear visibility is even worse but then with the tow mirror you can see much farther back it's it's a smarter style mirror so it's not like just the pane, the regular glass here, or the regular mirror. It's a more of a spotter style um, that you'd see in the corner of your mirror. I did have little spotter mirrors on this truck previously, but then they get they gave up and they just fell off. And I was like, all right, I'm done with this. So I went ahead and got these, and I'm I'm really satisfied with them. They vibrate just as much as the regular mirrors do which is not very much, and I'm very happy with it. And you see on this side, you can definitely see quite a bit better, and definitely worth the investment. And these rot this rotates 360 degrees. I'm not gonna rotate now, because I have it adjusted where I want, but as you can see, it's on that little um, socket, and you can loosen this screw right here, and it makes it um, rotate more freely. So you can adjust that whatever angle you want it to be, which is really nice um, for custom applications. But these are made to be universal, and they do a really good job at fitting on this truck. Um, I'm definitely really, really happy with them, um, especially since there's not really any options for these trucks. But yeah, um, I may trim these these guys off because they don't really they don't they don't need to be here. They're more for different applications. Probably get a grinder or a little um, saw and cut them off. Probably a grinder and then cut off wheel. But yeah, so um, these are definitely worth the investment um, if you t tow even just a little bit. I don't tow a ton, but I'm getting to the point where I'm towing more and more often. And being able to see is a huge confidence booster when you're towing. So definitely worth picking these up. I'm going to work on um doing this mirror like i did that one where with the screws and stuff and i'll go ahead and show you guys the process of how i do it so stay tuned one thing i gotta mention before this it's gonna make it a ton easier if you had these mirrors on with the straps for a week or two weeks or something because these will kind of mold with your mirror and they kind of set in their place where they want to be so then that's less strain you have to do by like pulling on them um, and stressing them and it'll end up um, getting a better fit because these have already been on there for probably 
two weeks now and um, the fit is already it's already like sticking to the mirror if that makes sense all right I found my marker I got one of these oil filter markers um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this thing out as far as we can then put a little mark right at the edge right here then we'll come back and drill a small hole slightly to the bottom of that mark so it will be um, tighter than what our um, dot will be. Stretch this guy. He looks like this is very difficult. So, so right about there. So we're gonna set a mark about right where it was. Let's see right there. And we'll come down with this. Sorry, come down with that, and that's where as you can see that is. And I'm putting all the pressure I can on that. So that is where we're gonna drill the first hole for the first drill. Mark, I don't, this drill bit is, these are quarters, so I'm, I think this is an eighth or eighth drill bit, eighth inch. So we're gonna go at the very bottom of this, um, very bottom of this dot. There we go. And now we got a small hole at the bottom of the dot. Make sure it is anything under dot. Don't have it over it because that will make the mirrors loose. Because you'd rather have them looser than tighter. Or tighter than looser. I'm sorry. Okay. So for these little bolts, you can just do it with a regular ratchet or a little 3 8 ratchet. It just makes the process um, a little bit more difficult because you got to twist it as fast as you can to get that screw to start because these are self-starting. So it's easier if you got an impact or a heck of a drill with a dry with a bit on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put this um, the screw in our bit the screw in our socket and go down here to the hole. Try to reach it. And slowly start and whenever we get set. There we go. Don't, there we go. Don't over tighten it, because then you'll just start stripping it. Like right here, that is perfect, because this is not moving very much, and that is very tight. So now we're gonna come down, I don't remember, I believe I did this next one. So next, we're gonna take this strap off, or we're gonna take this strap off, take it down here, off. We'll take this, the, end of, the other end of the strap off. Strap is gone. And we're going to do the same thing. We're pulling and putting a little dot on where our furthest mark is. So we're going to do the same thing as we did at the top down here. Now for the last one, it'll be a little bit different for this side, for this other strap. Um, because it's um, this is a more important strap to get tight. So... I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute. I'll go ahead and do this one off camera so I don't have to worry about filming because it's not the easiest thing to do. Then I'll show you guys how to do this one. All right, All right guys, I'm going to give you one more tip to installing these. So if you're having trouble because they're not, because you haven't had these on for very long, whenever you're um, setting for them, get a mark on them to make sure you get a um, tight enough mark, I would go ahead and grab the end of the strap with a pair of pliers pull with your left hand then use your right hand to set a dot towards the edge of this hole right here that's just another that's just a thing that made it really easy that's for getting this one it's easier to hold it with pliers than it is with your fingers so that's just another tip i have um now the last one right here since i finished these two now this the inner one is a lot more important getting set than the outer one let me, let me explain why because so when this this is like your set point because you can so if you loosen this this one doesn't really matter i mean it does but it doesn't matter as much as this one so this one should be tight but this one sets the total tightness so you have this one tight but then the tighter you get this one this one over here is the tighter the whole tightest the whole thing will be so we're gonna go ahead and remove these Send it up. And it's also a good sign if you have to loosen these to get them off. There we go. So, 
So for this one, as you can see, this one I got a lot, well, not really. I got tighter than the other one, but I'm gonna use the same process as, I'm gonna grab my pliers out of my pocket. But we're gonna grab that thing, pull it as hard as you can and make sure it's latched. The little notch is setting on, setting on the mirror on the inside. Then put a little marker dot on it. I would recommend doing the bottom one first because it's harder. Then you make sure the top one to kind of finish it out because the bottom one is definitely harder to get to than the top one is too. All right, guys, here's the finished result. It It's not the prettiest thing, but it gets those giant straps out of the way because those things are huge. Um, so, yeah, it cleans it up a little bit. It's still not perfect, but what we're going to do in the future, we'll probably just either put some Bondo or JB Weld to kind of just smooth it out, not a, a ton, but smooth it out a little bit, do what I can with that. Then cut these tabs off right here because they're just in the way, blocking vision. Then we'll probably spray paint the whole thing, kind of um, make sure these bolt heads match and make up, clean it up a little bit more. So this is the end of my review of these like $35 um, towing mirrors. Definitely well worth it. I definitely am satisfied with how they came out and would recommend them to pretty much anyone. But if you tow maybe on the weekends or got a boat or a little trailer to haul brush around, these definitely will do the job if your stock mirrors don't satisfy you.